Welcome to Alaska's Real Deal. I'm your host, Molly McCarthy Kunfer with the Alaska Department of Fishing Game. In this series, we'll be highlighting some great fishing opportunities within some of Alaska's state parks. To get the full benefit and visit all of the state parks, we encourage you to purchase an Alaska State Parks Pass for your vehicle and your fishing license. Then you'll get the real deal and you'll be able to visit and enjoy all of the sites we'll cover in this series. For this episode, we're here at Finger Lake and State Recreation Site, located in the Matsu Valley. We'll be meeting up with Department of Natural Resources staff and Fish and Game staff to learn about how to best enjoy this spot. Right now we're at uh, the Finger Lake Campground uh, in the day use area. Uh, behind me is the uh, boat launch and uh, Finger Lake itself. We have 24 campsites in the campground area. We have the East Loop, which has eight campsites that are RV compatible. Uh, and then we have the remaining campsites over in the West Loop, and they're a combination of RV and tent camping. And we also have two group sites over to the north side of the campground near the entrance. And then also where we're standing here is a picnic area. There's one on the east side of the day use parking lot behind me, as well as on the far side. And then of course we have the boat launch where people can access for just water sports as well as recreational fishing. We also have a couple little beaches here uh, and over on the point on the other side where people can hang out and go wading in the water and swimming. There's a lot of people that like to come out here and boat, and just as a reminder to, uh, to people that are getting out on their boats to make sure that they have all the proper equipment, and also making sure that they have uh, the PFDs that are, are required and making sure that the kids have them on, especially those under 13 years of age, they're supposed to have them on all the time, and making sure that they're, they have the right size. Um, so we do have a boating safety board here. We do put up PFDs. Uh, of all sizes and it's recommended for people to feel free to grab them and make sure they have them in their boats and on their persons. Now that we've met up with Dan from the Department of Natural Resources and learned all about how awesome Finger Lake is for water recreation, we're going to meet up with Sam from the Alaska Department of Fish and Game and learn how to catch fish here. Today we're at Finger Lake. Um, it's one of our many stock lakes in the valley. We stock Arctic char, rainbow trout, Arctic grayling, and landlocked king salmon. And there's plenty of shoreline here, so if you're limited to fishing without a boat, this is a really good place to come and fish. The fishery here for rainbows is excellent, so if you want to catch a nice sized rainbow, they're beautiful fish, and it's a beautiful lake. So for rainbow trout, you can throw spoons and spinners, real small ones, um, super dupers work great. You can also throw a bobber with eggs, salmon eggs, or little tiny pieces of raw shrimp. And that's really good for the kids because they like to watch the bobbers go down and, and reel them in as fast as they can. Grayling are really easy to catch with flies or tiny little spoons and spinners. And they're easily targeted with nymphs. If you want to throw flies, dry flies like mosquito patterns this time of year work great. To target arctic char, if you have any sort of shiny minnow patterns, um, fish them deep. Once the ice goes out, they tend to go into deeper waters for the summer months. Landlocked salmon are a lot of fun. We stock them in late fall and they're a really good ice fishing product for little kids. Those that troll real slow with night crawlers tend to do well out here um, in the Later on in the summer to kind of towards the evening hours, Arctic char fishing can be amazing. So kind of keep that in mind if you want to target some of the larger fish. Use larger gear, nice slow trolling, or you can use a sinking fly line for the big rainbows with leech patterns and fish them deep in the summer months when it's real hot. If you're looking for a place to start your stock waters challenge, this is a great place because it's stocked with four different species of fish. And make sure to check the regulations before you go. They can be confusing at times and you're more than welcome to call the fishing game office and we'll walk you through what the regs are for each species. Thanks for tuning in for this episode of Alaska's Real Deal. We hope that you'll consider Finger Lake Recreation Site the next time you have a day off to wet a line. Tune in again for another great episode soon. Mm -hmm.